12 creatures you won't believe are actually toxic. Number 12, the Spanish fly. The Spanish fly is technically not even a fly, but rather it's a bright green blister beetle that's known for secreting a terpenoid known as cantharidin. This is what allows the beetle to have a bitter taste and smell. It also acts as an irritant when it comes into contact with the eyes and skin of hungry predators. Not only is cantharidin found in their skin, but also coats their eggs. Just a few drop of this effective poison is enough to kill a full-grown adult. Number 11, the cone snail. The cone snail comes equipped with a harpoon that's a modification of its radula, the organ found in mollusks that functions as both the tongue and the teeth. The harpoon is hollow and barbed and is connected to the end of the radula located inside the snail's throat. When the snail senses its next meal close by, it shifts its proboscis, which is known as its mouth, towards the prey and fires its harpoon. The harpoon is laced with venom and is fired using a strong muscular contraction. Its venom almost immediately paralyzes its prey, and it reels back its radula with the prey and begins to chew. Their bite is described as being something similar to that of a bee's and the larger species are the cause of at least 30 known cases of human fatalities. Number 10, the monarch butterfly. Monarch butterflies lay their eggs solely on milkweed plants, which emit a toxic sap. Once the eggs hatch, the baby caterpillars eat the leaves of the milkweed plant and ingest the plant's toxin. This toxicity is carried into adulthood and the toxin spreads throughout the body and into the wings. However, the most deadly dosage is stored in its abdomen. This defense mechanism was developed for the sake of birds who try to eat them, so whether they snip off a piece of their wing or gobble them in one bite, they can at least retaliate. It usually only takes one bite for the bird to fly away because of the odd flavor of the monarch's toxin. Even then, the poison can have side effects that last for several hours. Number 9. The Little Shrike Thrush the shrike thrush might look harmless as it sits on a tree branch and sings its songs or scouts for food, but this little bird definitely isn't one you should take lightly, or at least eat. This species of bird happens to be one of only three known poisonous bird species. It becomes impregnated with the poison that it ingests from the insects that make up the majority of its diet. Its poison is so toxic that it's even known to be just as toxic as the one the poison dart frog secretes. Always be cautious of cute looking creatures because you never know. Number 8. The Hooded Pitohui The Hooded Pitohui of New Guinea is quite appealing to the eye with its contrast of black and orange coloring. Not only that, but its melodies are just as wonderful. Sadly, that's where all the pretty things about this bird end, and it should only be admired from afar. Why, do you ask? Well, if you touch any of the bird's skin or feathers, your skin will start to tingle and go numb. The American ornithologist who studied this bird back in 1989 John Dumacher, said his skin felt like it was on fire. He didn't stop there. He put a feather on his tongue and it went numb for a few hours. Apparently, their poison is believed to come from the beetles that they eat, the same beetles where poison dart frogs get their poison. Number 7. The Spur Winged Goose It wouldn't be wise to eat this specific one, even though you actually can't. Spur winged geese are known for mostly consuming blister beetles, which are very toxic so toxic that they have been known for the ability to kill full-grown horses. The spur-winged goose can enjoy as many blister beetles as it would like because it's immune to their toxins, which allows them to be stored in their bodies. If you just eat 10 milligrams of the toxin, then say goodbye because you're a goner. Just like their name implies, these geese come with spurs on the bend of their wings that they can use to cause harm. Number 6. Pfeiffer's Flamboyant Cuttlefish if you come across a highly colorful animal, be cautious, as it's most likely poisonous. This is especially true for the creature known as Pfeiffer's flamboyant cuttlefish. Normally a brown color, this cuttlefish shifts to red, black, and purple with golden spots when it becomes distressed, and the tips of its arms turn into a dark shade of red. This new look serves as a warning to potential predators that lets them know about the cuttlefish's toxicity. The toxin is located inside of the cuttlefish's muscles and is said to be as deadly as the one carried by the blue-ringed octopus. However, unlike the blue-ringed octopus, the cuttlefish is only poisonous and not venomous. Number 5. The Pacific Newt The Pacific Newt, also referred to as the Western Newt, gets its name from the fact that they're mostly found exclusively on the North America Pacific coastline. 
Typically, they're either colored black or brown, but when they feel threatened, they lie down on their backs to show off their bright underbellies. This is the warning that lets predators know that they're dangerous. Sadly, not all heed this warning and they eat the newt anyways, thus resulting in not just one, but two deaths. The four species of Pacific Newts each come with different levels of toxicity, but the most toxic one is the rough-skinned Newt that's responsible for one human fatality. Even when they're not ingested, they can still cause irritation of the skin. Pacific Newts have the same toxin as pufferfish that's called tetrodotoxin. Number 4. The Slow Loris What's unique about the slow loris is that it's one of the very few poisonous mammals to exist. Their toxin is secreted on the inside of their elbows and they cover their young in it to prevent them from being eaten. The slow loris will also lick these toxin producing patches and lace their bite with the poison. So don't be fooled by their cute and giant eyes or when they start lifting their arms up, they're quite dangerous. Number three, the floral snake. Did you know that almost all snakes are venomous? but only a select few of them are poisonous? That's right, and the floral snake is also called a tiger keelback snake, classified as being both poisonous and venomous. Yup, its skin secretes the poison and at the same time its fangs are filled with venom. Its venom is natural, but the poison that it stores in its glands is actually from the toads that it eats. What's cool about this is that the snake processes the poison to make it even more lethal than it was before. They can even pass the poison to their offspring to keep them safe. Number 2. The Blue Cloud Forest Millipede Introducing the Blue Cloud Forest Millipede, this bright blue creature is classified as a polydesmid millipede, which is just a fancy way of saying that it's in the largest family of millipedes, polydesmida. This family includes approximately 3,500 different species. That's a lot of legs. They can grow to be around less than an inch all the way up to 5 inches and have no eyes whatsoever. These blue beauties aren't just for show. Like with most animals, the color is to let other animals know that they're poisonous. And now for number one. But first, be sure to subscribe for new videos every day. Number one, Palathoa coral. There happen to be several different types of coral and only a select few of these possess toxic properties that haven't been thoroughly investigated yet. The most deadly of these coral is the Palathoa. Its poison is so toxic that a 25 nanogram dosage is enough to kill a rabbit. A lethal dosage for a human would only take 5 micrograms. Palatoxin is known for being one of the most toxic organic poisons in existence. The symptoms of palathoa poisoning range from difficulty breathing to chest pains and low blood pressure. Unfortunately for those who are stung, there's no known cure and death occurs within a matter of minutes.